Hello and welcome to the club. Hello? <laughs> Hello. Anybody? Uh, I'm your host, Mars, and this is the Upper 90 Club, a roundtable podcast where five friends discuss the Columbus crew. On this episode, we review last week's blowout against Loudon and blow up against Orlando. Maybe more of an implosion. We will discuss. We'll also preview this week's matches against Galaxy and Cincinnati. Uh, This Wednesday at home and Saturday away, respectively. We also have a Crew 2 update from President Bird in there. So stick around for that. Last week, our Hot Ones special, uh, our guests fell through late. So we canceled. Um, Which was also us. Well, yeah. (laughs) We also tried to to back ourselves (laughs) up and then we also (laughs) We couldn't do it. Yeah, so anyway, we're trying to get that rescheduled in some form. Uh, For that, we'd like to include listener questions. So send them our way, podcast at upper90club.com. We're trying to do that in the next couple weeks. Uh, And if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at upper90clubpod and watch us on YouTube at upper90club. Um, Another important and exciting announcement, our newest podcast, The Yanks has debuted the year uh, we talked about doing this during the world cup um when we kind of it was off season and we were doing usmnt coverage but this will be our monthly u.s soccer podcast that will hopefully provide an outlet for ben's musings on that's pretty all much it. Things u.s soccer <laughs> uh and whoever else is available um monthly i said so uh, it's just going to be me and like, two months. I'm like hey, everybody <laughs> just shouting into the all the void. lights are turned out. Also, we posted the first episode to the Upper 90 Club channel on May 15th, uh, but future episodes will be posted on the Yanks channel going forward. Don't go looking for it because it doesn't exist now, but it will. So uh, maybe by the time this pod's released, probably. All right. Not cut, cut that out then. Just go check it out. Um. With me in the club are Ben, Mort, Trey, and Haas. Say hi, guys. Hey, hey guys. guys. Hello. Well, hello, hello, hello. So this has been kind of a weird stretch. I feel like we took the week off because we had a bye, but we've had two games <laughs> since our last recording. Yeah. We have two coming yeah. up, and now we're like slammed in. But um, did you guys go to... I know a couple of you went to the Orlando game. Oh, and Loudon was away, so no one went to that game, I assume. Literally, None no, of us one. Did. No, no one. <laughs> no, no Zero one. people yeah. attended. Yeah. Uh, there was there's like, like 12. Yeah, 15. I think there was actually some Mecklenburg people, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because they were posting. All right. Well, so uh, let's just kind of get settled in here and talk about the Orlando game. The Loudon game, you know, we can, we can spend a little time on it later, but... Um, for this past weekend, who was there? Ben, what were you doing? Uh, having panic attacks all of Saturday night. I had kids. So <laughs> I watched it like post. <laughs> I had to turn off my phone because I didn't want to like see anything. So it was one of those things where I started the game at like eight and it was late. Okay. And then frustratingly, I put it on pause and I forgot to turn off the score, like show the score. Yeah. I thought I did that and I went up, I put the girls down, which was an absolute nightmare. Mm -hmm. And then when I came back, I saw, I mean, I I saw at halftime, we were up two nothing and I felt pretty good. And then I came down and I saw two, two and I was like, why God? So I I don't remember who said this and I I don't, don't, I'm just going to jump in, but like I have the scores shut off. I have no problem watching the game delayed. I've got, I've got, I've got it all figured out. But when I'm looking at my phone, during the time between when I start the game and when I finish the game, I like you can't see it if you're listening, but I'll like look at my phone with, you know, our group thread <laughs> like obscured by my hand so that I don't see anything. And I think it was like at minute 60. I happened to see just somebody write, well, <laughs> who who was that? <laughs> so like I think it was Mort. Anyway, I knew something went wrong, and <laughs> I just had to wait for the rest of the game to see it unfold. Torturous, but, yeah, painful. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, Mort, where were you? Were you at the game? 
I was at the game and uh, something tells me that was just about what I thought I had the right score for about a minute. Oh, yeah, two to one, right? That sounds about right, 60th minute. So, no, back to normal, back to bringing my guy at the games. Finn was with me, you know, uh, it, was a, it was a good time other than the very... Yeah. How upset was End Finn when they when they put it away in the 94th? So, Did he so, I mean so, he has he's got so, big so, feelings. He's got so, real big feelings. So so here's, here's the thing. So <laughs> so it started emptying out because people are going to go to the south side to watch the show. We're sitting there. It's me and my buddy Jesse, his neighbor, and um we're just sitting there and then Finn goes, Well, that was effing horrible. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, well, what? And you see, oh, like wow. my my friend, they just lose, they loosen it, right? He's so pissed off. He's like crying pretty much. Yeah, that's but they're okay. loosening it, just like so. They said, well, I guess you got that from your mom, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I lean over, it's like, hey man, you can't, you can't. Talk <laughs> yeah, about you that. can't. I know they're, I know, I know they're all laughing Cardum. right now. Timing was perfect, but no, you can't. Yeah say that but yeah he dropped the bomb <laughs> so it was like perfect timing and everybody started cracking up but yeah no he uh he had a little bit of meltdown oh it sounds yeah. like he yeah maybe didn't didn't watch enough games last year or something i feel like this is like kind of yeah. the norm right you know i, yeah, I guess is, as you yeah we're callous as you get older yeah you just kind of you come to to be more cynical and and not so optimistic but yeah i think i'm there yeah good okay. on him what about you trey were you there yeah, I had the whole family at lower.com. So the whole family, even the I baby? Mean, yeah, baby was there. Wow. All right. So yeah, I mean it was Can you like get any fantastic. of the players to kiss the baby? It's frowned upon. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. COVID but, or something. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's 2023. You can get canceled for kissing yeah, baby. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Can't get their consent. All right. What about you, Haas? But yeah. I was in Salt Lake City at Kilby Block Party Music Festival, so I did not get to watch the game live, but I did get to watch it today here after getting in from Salt Lake City today. Were you able to awesome. like? How was the Mormon uh, castles? I don't know. What did did you go to the Mormon castle? Do they have castles? No. Okay. <laughs> the Tabernacle. Yeah. Drove by it. I mean, it's there. It's downtown. You didn't go in. Can't miss it. Not allowed. Uh, okay. actually you are allowed in the tabernacle, just not the temple. So I love the word tabernacle. Uh, Haas, did you know the score? Um, I saw the text messages. Okay. All right. So maybe I didn't know the score, but I knew it was upsetting. <laughs> you knew it wasn't good. Okay. Well, so before we get into the, the Orlando game, uh, the Loudon game, God, what was the final score of that? Five, one. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, what does this mean? We're moving forward in the U.S. Open Cup. We're playing Pittsburgh. Uh, what next? Three? That's a good draw. That's two good draws in a row. Yeah. We're so, playing away round of 16 on Wednesday, May 24th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then the winner of that game plays away to either, what, New York or who, who else Cincy. is playing? Cincy. Yeah. So, like, we're pretty much away this entire yeah. time. So, the first game, which does anyone know anything about why we would be away in Indy and away in Loudoun and away in Pittsburgh and away in the next yeah. game? Why, why is that? Uh, Don Garber. Okay. <laughs> and and the Columbus crew. Is that a Columbus crew <laughs> specific draw or is it and is it draw based or is it just yeah i didn't know if it was part of the draw system i'm, I'm not even sure to be they'd honest. let this the smaller teams host or something to help with uh i don't think so turnout or something. i don't know yeah, yeah I don't no know. I, that it is part of it is the whole thing is getting the big clubs to come to the small places okay. to get more people to come watch gotcha. them kind of thing sure and it's a, a little bit of influx of money especially when they're doing it. It's, it's why like a high estate always plays like some small team off the jump. Cause that generates so much money for that small school and that pays sure. for everything sure. for the year. Okay. All right. So, uh, good game against loud. did we, did we have an injury in that game? Quentin came off injured. Yeah. But he was on the field against yeah. Orlando. Okay. That's I, I knew there was something that was questionable, but, yeah, he was out there for Orlando. Okay, so we'll see them play uh, Pittsburgh, the Yinzers. Away next Wednesday? Wednesday the 24th. Yeah. Yep. 
Okay. Uh, that's great. So Orlando, let's get into that. Um, Haas, you want to talk about the lineups? I mean, the big thing we talked about was uh, Zillarayan being left out. At, was that a game time thing? Yep. Last minute scratch. Um, just essentially, I think the quote from Nancy was that he just wasn't ready to play today, Saturday. So um, for the lineup, it was Cucho, Russell Rowe, Matan up top, mm-hmm. Yaboa, Nagby, Morris, and Farsi. Vallecia, Quinton, and Marrera in the back with Schulte and goal. And my understanding is they were they were kind of mixing it up with the front line, playing a flat three, and then at some point throwing Cucho and Russell Rowe up top with Matan drop behind them. So they were messing with the formation we've seen basically all year, just slightly toying with it. Yeah. Okay. So I you know, I what do you think of the first half? Let, I mean, let's get into it. What, you know, with the new new formation, did we think it was a little slower moving? Um, what what dynamics did you see? Ben, you want to start that? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I did see. Well, I mean, again, what I had, had said earlier is that our strikers, like the people we have up top, are all completely different players. So anytime someone new comes in, it's not just a like for like, which is awesome, but also like can be kind of a problem. So when you lose someone like Zell, you lose a number 10. We don't really have another number 10. I mean, Matan kind of acts like that, Tries but to not be. really. Yeah. Yeah. Which is fun, which is cool. I mean, he does, he's, he's good, but he's not Zell. It, it, he's just a different player. So Russell Rowe is also like a really unique player. So I it, I think when when it started off, the first ten minutes were rough. I, I think the, the we're getting caught in transition. It just seemed like we were kind of a little bit off, and that could be because it was like a week off, and you know, obviously we're trying some new things. But um, starting after that ten minutes, I, honestly, because that's the one that that's the time when I was like really paying attention. I thought we smashed them. I thought we like the up top movement and how it works. With it seemed like it took us ten minutes to kind of figure it out because Cucho is a bit of a wild card, and so is Russell Rowe because you know they're not like the they're not Ramirez, they're not like pressing the line or moving it, but they just they just move so much. And same thing with Matan, so that's why I was kind of excited to see those three up top because there's there's so much movement, and it just seemed like with the overlapping runs from Farsi, and again, Yaboa is playing phenomenal. He's completely changed the last like three weeks and I just continue to eat my own words every single time. Like I keep texting, like this is like a totally different player, but it feels like every time he goes one-on-one, it feels like he's going to beat the guy. Like you he, can see his oozing yeah. of confidence right now, but it's, it's not like just beating him with pace. It's not like beating him on the ball. He does both. And that doesn't make any sense because I knew he had pace, but like, I just, his, I didn't rate his foot skills, but man, it's just like, I, it, it's definitely confidence and it's definitely coming, I think, from the coaching staff. Like they're giving him carte blanche to to go out and like have fun is kind of what it looks like. Like, hey, man, by the way, you're pretty good. And it's the same thing with Matan. It's like I'm starting to see the rise of some of these players. And it's just it was nice to see. So, but, you know, that's kind of my spiel on the first half. I, I think we I think we I mean, we were just so dangerous well, and so and at, at, doing different stuff up top. It was at, just at one point you heard the commentators say that the Columbus had the advantage on possession. At, I would have thought that we had 100% of the possession. It felt that it was way. like it, it was 70 <laughs> 30, I think, at the end of the first Yeah, I mean, and, and that seemed yeah. low. Like, I, I just didn't yeah, remember Orlando having the ball, or if they did, it wasn't in their attacking half. You know, it was just. Yeah. Uh, just incredible uh, possession and just onslaught. I don't see a breakdown of how many shots were uh, in the first half for no, us. No, I think the time that you were talking about, like it was a possession advantage of like sixty nine to thirty one. Yeah. Nice. Like it was. Yeah, it the first half was <laughs> one of the. It was. It was. <laughs> uh, it was one thing that you could. Yeah, it was an excellent first half, but. One thing that, you know, we had heard before that Nancy doesn't really like the cross a lot. And you can tell that this team is being drilled into don't just take it to the inline and cross and do a hopeful cross. Yeah. They are really trying to work that ball 
and trying to find that, you know, well, the, the two goals were both from, the, uh, you know, a, yep. a simple pass across the front of goal. <clears throat> so, so that was impressive in the first half. It was breaking so. down a low block, which is the hardest thing to do in soccer. Like that, that you that's were talking what he said. About the- we were talking about the first 10 minutes and one thing that we made a point of, we were talking about during the game was they purposely wanted us to play the ball to Vaisia. So they wanted him to have the ball because he, his passing is not his strong suit to say it the least. And, and I, he, he made some strange decisions right there. So their pressure worked and then we kind of changed it up and, and managed to bypass that. And I think that gave us, um, like they tipped it over uh, in our favor after that. I thought yeah. Vaisia had some great, good moments. He was stepping and winning the ball, then maybe going a little too far forward. No, <laughs> but, I, but, I mean, like I but, think, uh, with with the ball, it's not his strength. Yeah, the other defenders. Passing, yeah, the other defenders were making him look really good because they were so bad. Yeah, we'll yeah. get to that. And Moreira still is not <laughs> up the field like he was in the beginning of the season, and I thought that was yeah. a. Uh, He's, I, I, he's, th- I think he's staying home to cover for the ineptitude of the other ones. And he's he's coming off an injury, right? He was hurt yeah. there for a little bit, so I don't know if he's like actually 100%. I think Nazi's literally going, you can't leave him. You can't leave him. Don't leave him. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe. So I'm looking at that side of the field, and I'm going, okay, you know, if he steps up, someone has to kind of step back and fill that space, right? So the person who's on the right wing is Farsi, who – can do that forward. as a wing back. And lately he's been the one bombing forward. And the thing is fair play to him because he got the assist and he's kind of been a monster. The person next to him is either, you know, Morris or Nagby. And they're also like moving up the field. So I think it may just be something that Nazi saw that, you know, people are targeting him. If he goes up the field, it's like some space, you know, and he, you know, and obviously if you're, if you're, if you ask me, Hey man, you want Marrera up the field, Farsi or Morris, who are you going to want? I'm like, well, not Marwera, even though he's doing really well, but I would probably say he's probably the one I don't want. So yeah. I mean, he's staying home they, a lot more. And maybe those two, really, yeah. Sorry, and maybe Martin, those two that str- maybe the two that struggled are carrying injuries because we saw Quinton last game too got hurt and walked out. But the problem is, you're looking at the bench. We got nobody, not for center backs, right? And we play three of them. <laughs> yeah, we played three of them, and we have nobody really to to put on there. Uh, because Malte Amundsen is not. Is He's not supposed to be a wing back. back. No, yeah. Degenek yeah. is out. Josh Williams, who is in, you still know, out. He's still out. Yet. We yeah. got Keegan Hughes. I've seen very little of him, but uh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, he played a good chunk of that Loudon game, didn't he? Keegan Hughes, didn't he play the whole game? Pretty sure he did. Uh, let me double check. Did he play the whole game? No. No, he came in for Quinton. When he got hurt. He didn't play like at all. Oh, he came on at the, uh, oh, it doesn't say, I think he came on at Quentin when Quentin got hurt at the very end of the game. Hmm. So it was, yeah, yeah so it was I, we totally haven't really seen, game. yeah, we haven't really seen him, honestly. All right. Well, let's talk about the goals. Um, came late in the first half. Surprised to see Nagby up that high. Haas, talk us through that, that Nagby goal in the 39th minute. Uh, 39th minute. Yeah. Morris, uh, Pokes the ball away right after an Orlando throw in. He pokes it away to Yaboa. Yaboa takes a touch or two and slips a pass through to Cucho, who is able to turn towards the middle of the field into space and finds Matan breaking down the right side and into the box. Just as Matan gets to the six yard box, he slips a pass across to Nagby. Uh, I mean, essentially walks it into the yeah. goal. Um, but Cucho. There, I think three of their defenders followed Cucho's run, which opened up Nagby. I think there was someone else at the back post with Nagby that yeah. was also open. Yeah, it was like a party. It might have been um, great run of play. I mean, leading up to that too, they had just spells of possession where they're working the ball around the box, yeah. trying to find that opening. Yeah, I not yeah. So, what do you think about that? I mean, is that uh, do, do you see Nagby getting up that high very often? I. I, I guess I I was kind of surprised to see him up there. No, but I, I do want to point out uh, that was Nagby's first goal under Nazi, which makes it what eleven or twelve different goals, goal scorers in eleven or twelve games. Yeah, so that's a crazy stat. 
Because as soon as he scored, it's like, and that's his first notch under Nazi. And I'm like, it literally, like our, that, our striking core is just nuts. Like the amount of different people that that can score. And it's just, I, I mean, it's awesome to see him get on the board now. And it's, yeah. It seems like everybody yeah. can score but Cucho. I well, will say Cucho, I, I, I forgot how impactful he is. And this game yeah. showed how like he can lose three defenders in like one movement, his movement. And again, this is my soapbox thing that I always say is the movement of a striker. Like even if he's not scoring, like he said, like you just said, he took three people with him to open up space. I mean, that's worth its weight in gold. So if he's not scoring, great. But we have... Well, he need yeah. to get some He was on like, target. but I mean, I'm talking a foot yeah. off on like two yeah. of them. I mean, they're... Yep. He was he was, he was was a total of a foot off I know. away from yeah, yeah. three goals. And, you know, Does that include the yeah. foot? He, oh, he was offside. We'll talk, we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, yeah. That's Add it to the So feet. anything else to say about that goal? Uh, just you mentioning Nagby coming forward. It seems like him and Morris essentially kind of take turns. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's great. And uh, this game, it seems like uh, Nagby had a little bit more yeah. of that offensive Correct. role. And <clears throat> Boris was like a little bit more. Yeah. Because I was saying, I haven't seen that much of Morris. Yeah, he was quiet. I think he had I one shot. Back. One shot yeah, by maybe design. from distance. It was a good look, too. Yeah. I mean, it was on goal. Morris. Yep. Um, okay. And then a few minutes later in uh, stoppage time of the, of the first half, Jason Russell wrote, 45 plus two tell, talk us through that one uh yeah the crew i mean there's again a little spell of possession around the box working the ball around uh orlando doesn't quite clear it and cucho plays farsi into the box with a great pass uh farsi it, it looked so similar to the first one just plays it into the uh into the six yard box Jason Russell Rowe beats two defenders to the ball, and it's another tap in. Yeah. Strikers goal. It is it's a, a proper nine goal. goal. It's just a call him up to, to the U.S. The team. <laughs> What's that? He's Canadian. Okay, oh, cool. Okay. My producers are telling me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was good look at those guys. Like like you said earlier, uh, there's just a lot of movement up top. There's just so, so much activity. Yeah. I, I mean. I don't, I just kind of think of like the the Golden State Warriors over the years and like you watching them like you d- I love hockey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. Like I've just watched I've watched them just cr- crush teams be- because of like kind of what what you're talking about with the crew here. It's just like you just have a bunch of really fast guys moving all over the place and and the balls can't can't keep track of the ball and um it's great. It reminded great me of the goal. latest, like, or one of the latest Ted Lasso episodes where he's like figuring out the triangles when he drinks the tea or whatever. And he's just like, boop, boop, boop. Cause it just seemed like a bunch of people were just, they were, it was just stick and move, stick and yeah. move. And it was just like, yeah. they couldn't keep track of people. And all of a sudden there's a yeah. ball across the six and it's just like a tap in. Yeah. But I mean, it was a crew two player, Farsi to a crew two player from last yeah. year. It's just, that's what, that's literally what they did. Like that, that's their bread and butter is that Farsi. Across that danger ball, there was a wasn't there? Let's go, Cappies. Oh, that's champ. awesome. Yeah, yeah so I mean, yeah. at what point are these guys not crew two players, right? I mean, Farsi is forever in my mind. Farsi's the first team player now, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah, oh, yeah. Jason Russell Rowe, he's he's played what half dozen games probably as a sub. Yeah, but I, I always just say it because it feels like. Uh, you know, the, the European chance, like he's one of our own, you know, like Harry Kane for Tottenham and like all the people that grew up in the academies. And it just feels like when these academy players, you know, come up to the team, I just feel I have a different feeling towards them. Like, I feel like they're they're one of us. They get it. You know what I mean? It's not like we just bought him from, sure, you know, Hearts or Aberdeen or something like that. It's like they're yeah, it's like. Or Toronto. Yeah. Or Toronto, yeah. Well, and so <laughs> Cucho got a. It's been what, one year. Like both rough. hockey assists. Yeah, two hockey assists. Yeah, and then yeah. one of the turns are just beauty. It's 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 his first it's amazing. touch. Amazing. He played this, great this that really first good. half. Man, he just oh, opened was, up the field. The only thing he didn't get was a goal. Yeah, yeah. the first half was yeah, great. Well, so oh, to the second. Yeah. Well, yeah, so it was it was a tale of two halves. So let's take a break real quick. We'll come back and uh, we'll talk about what happened to our two to zero game. We'll be right back. 
This episode of the Upper 90 Club is brought to you, as always, by Supporter Supply Company. Hi, friends. This is your good pal, Morgan Hughes, here to talk to you about a serious issue facing 96% of all crew supporters in Columbus. Why, not enough free shipping, of course. For a limited time, now through the eventual heat death of the universe, Upper 90 Club listeners can use the promo code UPPER90BOYS. That's boys with a Z on the end of it. And check out for free delivery on absolutely any order over $10. But Morgan, what if I order $10 worth of stickers, or those goddamn buttons, or some other combination of small items that make you want to kill yourself? Will the free shipping still apply then, even as you curse our family, while you package up our little tiny annoying ass order for us? <laughs> of course it will. That's just how much we here at Supporter Supply value our friends at the Upper 90 Club. So head on over to supportersupply.co and use the promo code UPPER90BOYS, that's boys with a Z, at checkout for free shipping on all your orders over $10. And don't forget to tell them that your friends at the Upper 90 Club sent ya. All right, let's talk about the second half. Started with an Orlando goal in the 49th minute. Um, comedy of errors. Yeah, the comedy being Phil uh, and our entire team Sorry. falling down. I, I yes. feel like it was more than just uh, the, him. Entire, no, it was Quinn. Two people. Him. Uh, that goal was uh, his fault. You, right, you, you, you didn't have to turn up your thousand percent. To tell us that <laughs> he didn't. Sorry, <laughs> yelling isn't loud enough. I'm turning this thing up. No, there are so many mistakes there and so many people falling down. Nagby could have won the ball back and didn't hustle. Then he fell down. Morris is hustling back. He's falling on. I don't know if you're going to It looked like a FIFA house, glitch. Yeah, yeah good cover it. I, I kind of want to like... Okay, yeah. Orlando's keeper plays the ball out to the midfield over the top. Viasia misjudges it, falls down. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, right, I'm gonna keep as Orlando moves into the attacking half, Morris goes in for a tackle. He also falls down. <laughs> uh, Cara, I'm not sure how to say the guy's last it's name. Cara. He gets the ball. He lays it off to Torres. Torres holds on to it just for a second for Cara to make the run and then plays him through when Quinton falls down. And he's one on one with the keeper and just puts it to the right. Schulte's left side. Did Schulte fall down? Yeah, <laughs> he went for it. He didn't. I wouldn't say fall. He dove. Yes, he d- I dove toward toward. The, yeah, he kind of gambled his save. And, and all right, yeah. I just I pictured Mickey Mouse just like sniping our guys like every time they got because close, of like, Orlando. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yes, because no. Of this was. It seemed almost like a classic example of right. not being right. Yeah. Two yeah. zero. It's yeah. a curse, isn't it? And 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 eh, I, I like I said, sure. yeah. I, I I go ahead and say people fell down, but that's a, a you know a. A result of not being ready, but I say Nagbe set the tone right away because he got beat to the ball and he was very passive in not getting back to and 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 put pressure on there. Vaisio was also slow getting that, back after he fell. Yeah, and it was like there was so much hesitation in there, so that was like a it was a perfect storm of mistakes. So I I don't it know. It was what to say just it but just yeah. seemed dumb, right? Like I watched it happen, yeah, I was like. Yeah. What is hap like what is there- happening? Mm. What Trey? I you guys are it it is one person's fault. Like it, it was a comedy of errors leading up to it. But the problem with it is Viasi had pushed up. Then those things happen, and then Quentin finds himself in no man's land. He doesn't step to the oncoming player and he doesn't go with the runner when he sees Nagby doesn't track him. If he tracks the runner. There's other players that can pick the guy up with the ball, but he doesn't. And the guy slots it past him. So you're, him you're saying like Quentin. Right on goal. You know, it was like d- debating on man marking the guy or. Quentin didn't do anything. On he got beat. Okay. Quentin didn't step up to the so man with the ball. Thing. And he, he didn't follow the runner. It. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He did neither and then fell and down. It was an interesting um, sequence. I don't know if it was a little bit before or a little bit after. Where he also get beat with, I think it was Kara again, beating him on the inside, on the goal side of him on a run, which yeah. should not have yep. happened. That was just extremely poor placement. That one, I think, was worse I on his behalf than that one. I think that was like the 60th minute okay. or 60th like minute. That good yeah. car, like that Kara guy's not, yeah. a, not, he's played against better, 
Uh, he was probably the biggest threat they had. It was physical. Right. I thought he was pretty decent against us. So, yeah. I mean, that's what I saw. That's why I was mostly frustrated w- with it. Um, we gave up that quick goal, and it, it changed changed the outlook of the yeah. second you know half. What else, for, for the, the next half of the half. We were I was going to say, you know what else changed the outlook of the second half is two minutes later, all three of our center backs yeah. had yellow mm. cards by the 51st yeah. minute. Yep. Did anybody? And Vi- Vi- has got to be smarter. No, than but that. did you anybody mm-hmm. look at that stat in the half? I can't remember how many fouls there were, but in a when you're the home team, you dominating yeah. play, you have the ball the most, and they had over twice as many free kicks than we had, and we had the card. It's something about the referee did not pass the smell test for me. That's kind of how we play. You know, the, with the transitions and stuff like that, like because we we're, we're so offensive and we only need three back, so it's kind of like last ditch defending. Yeah, but I I don't know I I don't know. No, there was a there was a there was a lot of strange calls out there that n- did not go in our favor at all. I felt, but it's not the referee's fault and goals, but there was a lot of other no. stuff in there. The only one that I didn't have an issue with was Viasia, and it didn't look bad, but when you saw it on replay. The guy, it kind of looks like he's holding him back as the guy turns, which typically will get the yellow. What actually got the yellow was he said something to him, and then Viasi had like kicked him, kicked him with his toe. Yeah. Okay. And that's why he got the yellow card. Yeah. Stupidity. Yeah. Like, well, that's why I created the free kick too. He created the free well, kick for the yeah. second so, goal as well. Yeah. So we're sitting on a bunch of yellows. What? I mean, I don't know. It, it, I don't think it really made a material difference in. The outcome of the game, it certainly made a material difference in just how the game was played, right? I think I, there was a lot more back and forth throughout the second half. Um, we mentioned it before the uh, when we were talking in the about the first half, the sh- the shots that Cucho took in the in the second half were just so plentiful and just so close at times off every time right i mean many i don't think many of them were stops were they they were uh, how many were on frame do we have a stat on that yeah the two 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 was in the first half and there was a one or two in the second half um, 64th um, minute was the offside right so yeah so we can goal. talk about that that yeah, was so frame that was yeah. uh but he was definitely offside right yeah yes he was. He was off. Yeah, he, yeah. he took. He looked at it yeah. for about one second in replay. I suspected it when it happened, but however, it was too good to right. be true to have the perfect score. <laughs> I was very excited about that. That's why. <laughs> Has he scored yet this season? Yep. Cucho? Yeah. Cucho? Yes. Yeah, he scored yeah. against okay. Miami. Yeah. So then into, I mean, can we just jump to the to the second goal? Yeah. Um, yeah, let's get this over yeah. with. I don't know. I yeah. I was not surprised. I, like I said, I did when I was squinting to look at my phone and happened to see somebody say, "Well, uh, I I guess maybe that's why I was expecting the worst." But um, it certainly felt like there was momentum for Orlando to equalize. Um, do you agree? And and what led up to that to that goal in stoppage time? Actually, at that point. I felt reasonably comfortable that we were just going to ride it out to two one win for a while there because after the first half of the second half, so to speak, we were struggling, but we we got we got ourselves back into the game and took over more. And I feel we were in really good control until like a couple of minutes right before that goal. Where I feel like okay, this is gone. We we have this. I guess it would be two one. I don't have the perfect score. Yeah. But okay. But and we even were, when yeah. Kucha's offside I, happened, I was like, this is too early. We, and we will get another one. That was my thought. We will get another one a little later. Mm. It felt like we yeah. could, for sure. Yeah. I, I think, and I read this quote um, by Justin Holbrook from, from Nancy's press, Presser today. Um, and he said, my assistant taught me a new word, street smart. He goes, I love it because we're missing that. And, and it really is something that this team has not figured out yet. Because even at the end of the game, they were gun ho They were bombing forward and creating chances. And it, it's good. It, it, it is good. But it's, it is yeah, not Yeah, bookends of that half, right? I mean, we just talked about how they no, weren't ready to start the half. And they were ready to end it early. Yeah. 
right? I mean, they, they just they clocked out on that set piece. And again, right. everybody fell down for no reason. Yeah. Yeah, everybody just falls well, down. And, and clock There's out just a on bunch the of foul. it's a banana box, right? There's just a bunch of bananas. Like, oh, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. You got to tell me what a banana box is. I don't know what that is. He means the box as in soccer filled with bananas. Like, oh, Mario okay, all right. Well, yeah, got it. Yes, got it. yes. Okay. as we all know, bananas are slippery. Banana all right, <laughs> all right. Um, so we know the result. Um, man. What a bummer. It's just that the, it, yes. it was the 94th minute I wanted to mention. Yeah. I mean, the the Galese, the Orlando goalkeeper, comes up with a huge save off a uh, Parente shot that was deflected, and somehow he still yeah. got like a paw up and, they, and just like I punched that. it over the bar. I think I stopped yeah. watching, uh, if I'm being honest. It's hard to watch <laughs> oh, the game when your eyes are so full of tears. Oh, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was it would have been that stadium yeah. would have blown up if that would have gone in yeah but here's here's the thing on the first save Parenta has the entire right side of the goal is wide open it's wide open and it's it's not like a ball that coming extremely fast he needs to score on that goal and he needs to make contact on the rebound better yeah, than two goals did. Wednesday yeah he panicked he yeah. panicked a little bit a little more experienced sure. player there we will have had a goal. He also just came on in the 90th, so it's like yeah. he's on the field yeah. for four That's when minutes. he came on, they were also uh, we were chanting uh, Cappy. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Let's go, Cappy. Good job, everybody. Well, Proud of you guys. <clears throat> that's a good segue. So yeah. um, we've got a couple games coming up in the next seven days. Um, one is uh, the night of, of uh, this podcast. <laughs> God, why can I never do this? <laughs> So seventeen. <laughs> Listen, okay. The day, the day yeah. that this is published <laughs> is the game, which is not today because because of time. God. But uh, uh, it's so, hard. So much it's for hard. that segue. I want to talk about crew two, and uh, no one better to do that for us than President Bird. So let's throw to him and hear about how uh, the crew two f- fared against. Orlando B. Did you see that the name is the? They're actually the B team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, take it away, Bird. Hey guys, thanks for having me again. I'm gonna start by saying that I watched the game on Sunday while trying to navigate Chicago's public transport system, and also beat a hangover that made me realize uh, drinking is bad, no matter how good of a dancer it makes me. It was tough. Luckily, you know. The Apple TV broadcast was still pretty reliable, and as we all know, uh, the Cappies beat Orlando B 4-0 on Saturday, even after missing a PK. It could have been 5. So, that was another dominating performance by the Crew 2. You know, if you're a Crew fan and is not watching the Crew 2's games, you should, because they play the exact same system that both both teams do, but the Crew 2 have been clicking better at it as of late. Uh, watching them play gives me lots of hope about what the first team is trying to do and what they can be. Again, it was another great performance. Uh, Gio De Libera scored his first professional goal. Jordan and I know a few some dominated in the wings. And Jacob uh, Erlinson led the defense in his first game back from a freaking skull fracture. You know, But what stood up to me the most was how much better coach the Cappies were than Orlando B. Coach Courtois has a team that is disciplined and smart. They communicate well, and they execute the plan to the dot in both halves of the field. You can watch our fourth go, how the crew, too, is still intense, still fighting for every opportunity, still moving around the ball and creating opportunities, even after leading 3-0 with only a few minutes left on the clock, and Orlando is not. They give up on the play, it creates the space, it leads to a goal. That's the discipline I'm talking about. And because of that, Laurent Courtois is my MVP this week. And more, once the first team starts clicking like this, and they are nearly there, I think it will be hard to stop them. With that said, I think that our bad luck with the first team is going to come to an end on Wednesday. No more ties, no more you know disappointments. We're going to say 3-1 crew this Wednesday. All right, guys. Bye-bye. All right, we're back. 4-0. to zero. What do you think about that? Yeah, great. It's great. 
keeping us alive. Uh, yeah, good job, cabbies. Yep. Did I tell oh, you guys? I did. I told you guys I saw some capybaras at the zoo. Oh yeah, the oh, docile. Yeah. It's a pictures. docile creature. Docile creature. Um, can you own one or is not that really a four to zero vibe? You know, it was like <laughs> yeah. more like a zero to four vibe. Don't answer that. Don't answer it. <laughs> No. All right. Um, so we're gonna we got a couple games coming up. Uh, Galaxy on the seventeenth at home, and Cincy on Saturday. The what? What's the date? Twenty twentieth. 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 Hell is real. Hell is real. Uh, and that's going to be in hell, uh, Cincinnati. So, yeah. um, let's ha ha uh, haws. Tell us where these two teams stand, how they're in, you know, what form they're in. And we'll have Mort give us our uh, prediction standings. Not a lot of movement there. Like, uh, well, oh, we'll shut talk it. about it. <laughs> shut it. Um, uh, and then we'll we'll uh, do a double prediction round uh, and then get out of here. So, Haas, uh, tell us about the Galaxy and Cincy. So... Just quick with the crew. The crew are currently in eighth place in the East. Um, that is with 15 points. There are a lot of teams with 15 points right now. Yeah. Uh, LA Galaxy are currently in 13th place in the West on nine points. Ouch. They're Cincinnati terrible. is currently in second in the East with 24 points. I want to add that the last six of those nine points for Galaxy came the last two games against exactly. two There's dark teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so the Galaxy have won their last two. One of those was an Open Cup match. And then since he, I mean, they haven't lost since April 15th, and they've had one draw since then. So Yeah, they're good. They're in good form. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Mort, uh, how do things stand on the predictions front? <clears throat> As usual, we are doing great in terms of <laughs> missing out on the right score. So, <laughs> I, it, yeah, but people are tweeting in and stuff like that, and they also are terrible, except for <laughs> Steel City. <laughs> Way to go, Ben! Yeah, so so we I, stink, but the people that listen and like us, hey, they we also were, stink. Eat we, it. We were pretty close in the middle of this. So so Mars, you know this at halftime. You didn't even know it. You should have been celebrating yeah, right. and feeling really right. good about it. Yep. Uh, and then you were crushed the second half. And then you know when Cucho scored, I said this is too good to be true. It's three to one. I can catch it up and, and not be in the bottom of the heap, which I am now. So uh, in very short terms, the only one that got a point in this round was Ben that had a 1-1 draw. Everybody, I'm else sorry, I didn't hear that. Uh, I cut out for some reason. What did you say? Ben uh, got a point because he guessed that they would draw. Draw. But he still, still haven't gotten the score correct. Okay, so what's the yeah. rundown from yeah, well, from uh, most to least? Ben is yeah, in the lead, ben yes. With... Ben, tell me that Ben is in the first place with five points. Okay, and I've got well, four points, right? And then, I've got then, four. And you got four second place, and then we uh -huh. have uh, Haas and Trey like, following after that, and I'm down in two points. <laughs> okay. I've, All right. I really but, needed, yeah. I really but, needed this Kucho goal. But the, the good news is you could predict the correct score once and be tied for first. <laughs> Jump so, the group, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. It's, it's still still tight, and we're still, what, first third of the season? And you, you got know, we're, two games this week. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. tight in predictions. Get it's it. tight in actual yeah, like, and table just, standing. Like, like everything yeah, is just, just tight. I just really it's don't tight. want it's to so get tight. one of those uh, case of what are they called again? Okay. Crazy. <laughs> I don't. Now I gotta beep it. I, man, I, I have hate the to way now. That sounds. <laughs> I have to now. Would it be better if like a friendly person gave you that? Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna snipe every one of them. Yeah. I'm surprised we didn't see any cards on that play. You're like the referee from Saturday. You have no control. You don't. I forgot I had him. I forgot I had him. I forgot I had him. You're blind. You're deaf. No. Yeah. All right. So we can just splice this in. Dre gets a yellow. <laughs> what? At, How come making, I got it? You're making work to for it. Ben. We told you not to say it. You it's said like, it. it. It's would like it be better? 
But if I push you and you headbutt me back, you're the one getting. Listen, the that's right. We're all this married. A, would it be better if our wives come in and just give them our? <laughs> and like, would it just make stop it saying it? <laughs> Got to stop saying it. Give him a talking to, because he knows if he does it one more time, yeah, we got to mute him. I, I, yeah, yeah. Then he gets no points. He doesn't want to be under right. the stairs anymore because he's scared because the things are falling on him. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't touch me. Don't do he just want to be, please send me upstairs. I'm in the basement. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me try and restart that. Um, okay, so let's go around and get our predictions. Let's start with LA. We'll go all the way around. So, Ben, you're first. What's going to be the score against LA uh, on Wednesday? I'm going two to one crew. Two to one crew. Yeah. I mean, I think Zelly will be back. I think he'll be good. Okay, Mort? I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm going to do the score again. <laughs> it's it's three to one crew. Yeah, I almost said three to one. Okay. Yep, but I took it. Yeah, okay. but it's going to be two to one. So Trey, two to one crew. Oh, come <laughs> yeah. on! Yeah. So what? hold on. What, what did uh, Ben say? Two, two to, to one. one. Two to one. Okay. Oh, you mean All two right. to one? The galaxy, Trey? No, no, no. no. He okay. says the same thing as Ben. Okay, right. pause. Three two crew. Three two. I'm going to stick with my two zero. Um, <laughs> Third okay. week in a row. I will add. <laughs> yeah. <Two> zero. <laughs> I think it's one of those things where like they just tell you like yeah, you know, just, just if the stock market starts in. crashing, just double down, unless, triple down, just, unless, unless you hear otherwise. Pay off eventually. Unless you hear otherwise from me, it's just gonna be two to zero from <laughs> here on <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> it will not be one to zero. Okay. Um okay. All right. So we all think it's gonna be a win. We think that. The, the inform galaxy. Hope. We're at home. We're upset. Think, hope. Yeah. I mean, yep. we, we got Zelly back. Does who's good on the galaxy these days? They got um we, Hernandez. They got Chicharito still. Oh yeah. He's back. He's back from and he's yeah, he's, he's no dangerous. Puig is the their their guy. Ricky. Yeah. Uh, don't even start. Give me, don't even get me started on that dude. I, I that okay. Awesome. And they, and we they won't. have. Um, we won't. We won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're not. We're not. <laughs> we won't. No. I'm sorry. Um. All right. Let's jump to Cincy. Haas said Ooh. second place. They haven't lost since April. And that loss was a five-one loss to St. Louis. Okay. St. Louis has been strong. And we're going to be too. in. Hey, there's what's a lot the, of What's the snappy league? name for their stadium again? The tickle. T Q L. Tickle. <laughs> tabernacle <laughs> yeah the tabernacle tabernacle like tabernacle um, tabernacle uh <laughs> all right um please don't go we'll go reverse order on this one finally um i will oh, say i was just hit the floor i will say oh, I think you got scored on zero yep. to two oh you loss. say we say we lose we Is this the first loss nothing? prediction no, I've I've guessed a loss before. Yeah, oh, you guessed a loss. Before. That on, was Atlanta. You, so <laughs> I guess say, we were losing to Atlanta. Okay, okay you got. Hey, you got to be specific here. Is it two nothing for Cincinnati? No, zero They're to the home two. Team. Zero. Yeah, that means crew wins two nothing. Oh, uh, well, see, I'm always thinking oh, like we say the oh, crew okay. scores. Crew's right. most fine. important. You European. No, that's fine. Okay, the crew's going to get what? zero goals, and Cincinnati's going to get two. I've finished. All right, who's next Pause. in the reverse order? Pause. Okay, cool. I'm going 1-1. One, one. Okay. Uh, I can't right. go the same as Mark. Trey? Zero, zero to one. Zero to one. You know, since he, I think they put up a lot of zero to ones, or, you know, one one zero wins. Yep. Um, they have this year. Mort? I'm sticking with my score of three to one, but three to one in the... Negative. Wait, we we think we're gonna get crushed Boo. in hell. We're gonna oh. we're gonna slip to the <laughs> to the seventh circle. Uh, ben, maybe we go ahead. Haas. Um, go ahead. Share your thought. I was just gonna say maybe we can have the opposite happen, where we've been playing all these teams we should be beating, and we go oh, no, to I Cincinnati. Think, I think and we turn it we around. We played to the competition. Yeah. I would say that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody has ties and losses. I'm going a two-one win for the crew. Great. I love that. Yeah. That means somebody's going to get a point. Somebody's jumping. Somebody's yeah. going to get a point. All right. Um, hey, well, hey. guys, I you know I I'm I'm excited. You know the bye week was kind of weird. It's it was weird not doing an episode last week, uh, but lots of games, 
lots of games this week, next week, week after. So let's let's keep it going. Um, and can't wait to hopefully uh, celebrate at least one win this week. Come we need on, one. God we need it. Uh, yeah. All right. And it well, keeps it interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I'm glad that they're both uh, league games too, right? I mean, the the extra play is fun and all, but the U.S. Open Cup games are, uh, you know, the, so far not not so impressed with the uh, with the competition. So, um, we'll we'll catch up next week. And until then, go crew, go crew. Go Thanks everyone for joining the club. We hope you'll listen next week and every week, even in the off season, to celebrate or commiserate. We'll save you a seat. If you like this podcast, please give us five stars and subscribe. You can email us at upper90clubpod at gmail.com. That's upper90clubpod at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at upper90clubpod. Go crew! Oh, you can open own a capybara.